हाँ Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... well... Mouse. Like I said, in this place you are what you perceive yourself to be. I think I used to be like you... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it, if you can. That's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Hmm. 
So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you, eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you? <laughs> Nothing can help you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Even if I were willing to help, mortal, what would you have me do? Fight the demon for you? He and I have no quarrel, and I am mm, quite comfortable where I am. Thank you. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Yes, your witty tongue. Fair enough. One more try, shall we? Often will I spin the tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve, but alas, you won't remember me. What am I? You are correct. Rather apropos here in Fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. 
So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot, must lead such hollow, empty lives. I am Balor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave, until one of you is dead. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection. Creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. 
Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. Spirit of Rage. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to... But I never really thought any of you were worthy. You made me believe in you. You're a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. No, 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 no. It must be your choice. Quickly now. The Templars are going to kill you. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The Fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. They know nothing. Dipping children in the Fade to tease. Repeating Maker like it means something. I hate those mortals so much. I mean, we're all mortal. But the Templars... 
maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Are you all right? Say something, please. You're in the dormitory. Take a deep breath. You're safe. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. Really? That's it? That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist a demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. The Trank will never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They might not, but the rite of tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like Owain who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. He said he'd be in his study upstairs. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is she alright? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well, he would, wouldn't he? I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes, like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. 